Distract yourself from the drabness of everyday life and immerse yourself in the world of exciting adventures of this series, can be a great solution. Such series always evoke strong emotions. And sometimes we are so penetrated by the plot that we worry about the characters, as if they were members of our own family. Undoubtedly, each episode will take its place in the structure of the narrative and can even be long remembered. And watching it may well become a pleasant memory and a wonderful pastime. Meanwhile, the episode release date has already been determined. Spectators will be able to see a new episode on January 22nd. Viewers are expecting a rich and informative plot, as well as emotional acting, from the upcoming episode. The authors have established themselves as professionals, judging by their other projects. Therefore, it will not be difficult for them to evoke bright and vivid emotions. And this is exactly what we all want from any series. And to brighten up our anticipation for the new episode, we offer a review of other excellent and not inferior in the Heat of Passion series. Scrubs is an American medical comedy drama television series created by Bill Lawrence that aired from 2001 to 2010 on NBC and later ABC. The series follows the lives of employees at the fictional Sacred Heart Hospital, which is a teaching hospital. The title is a play on surgical scrubs and a term for a low-ranking person because at the beginning of the series, most of the main characters are medical interns. The series was noted for its fast-paced slapstick and surreal vignettes presented mostly as the daydreams of the central character, John Dorian, played by Zach Braff. The main cast for all but its last season consisted of Braff, Sarah Chulke, Donald Faison, Neil Flynn, Ken Jenkins, John C. McGinley, and Judy Reyes. Scrubs focuses on the unique point of view of its main character and narrator, Dr. John Michael Dorian for the first eight seasons, with season nine being narrated by the new main character Lucy Bennett. Most episodes feature multiple storylines thematically linked by voiceovers done by Braff, as well as the comical daydreams of JD. Almost every episode title for the first eight seasons begins with the word my. Bill Lawrence says this is because each episode is Dr. John Dorian writing in his diary. For the first eight seasons, the series featured seven main cast members, with numerous other characters recurring throughout the course of the series. Starting with the ninth season, many of the original cast left as regular characters, while four new additions were made to the main cast. The first season introduces John Michael Dorian and his best friend Christopher Turk in their first year out of medical school as interns at Sacred Heart Hospital. JD meets his reluctant mentor Perry Cox, an attractive female intern named Elliot, on whom he develops a crush. The hospital's janitor, who goes out of his way to make JD's life difficult. Chief of Medicine Dr. Bob Kelso, who is more concerned about the budget than the patients. And Carla Espinoza, the head nurse who eventually becomes Turk's girlfriend. The characters face romance and relationship issues, family obligations, overwhelming paperwork, long shifts, dealing with death of patients, and conflicting pressures from senior doctors. American Horror Story is an American anthology horror television series created by Ryan Murphy and Brad Falchuk. Each season is conceived as a self-contained miniseries, following a different set of characters and settings, and a storyline with its own beginning, middle, and end. Some plot elements of each season are loosely inspired by true events. Many actors appear in more than one season, often playing a new character. The first season, takes place in Los Angeles, California in 2011, and centers on a family that moves into a house haunted by its former occupants. Although reception to individual seasons has varied, American Horror Story largely has been well received by television critics, with the majority of the praise going towards the cast, particularly Jessica Lange. The series draws consistently high ratings for the FX network, with its first season being the most viewed new cable series of 2011. Creators Murphy and Falchuk began working on American Horror Story before their Fox series Glee began production. Murphy wanted to do the opposite of what he had done previously and thus began his work on the series. Falchuk was intrigued by the idea of putting a different angle on the horror genre, stating that their main goal in creating the series was to scare viewers. From the beginning, Murphy and Falchuk planned that each season of the series would tell a different story. After the first season finale aired, Murphy spoke of his plans to change the cast and location for the second season. The first season, American Horror Story, Murder House, received generally positive reviews from critics.
Stranger Things is an American science fiction horror drama television series created by the Duffer Brothers and streaming on Netflix. The brothers serve as showrunners and are executive producers along with Sean Levy and Dan Cohen. The series premiered on Netflix on July 15, 2016. Set in the 1980s in the fictional town of Hawkins, Indiana, the first season focuses on the investigation into the disappearance of a young boy amid supernatural events occurring around the town. The Duffer brothers develop Stranger Things as a mix of investigative drama alongside supernatural elements portrayed with horror, science fiction, and childlike sensibilities. Setting the series in the 1980s, the Duffer brothers infused references to the pop culture of that decade while several themes and directorial aspects were inspired primarily by the works of Steven Spielberg, John Carpenter and Stephen King, as well as anime and video games. Stranger Things has attracted record viewership on Netflix and has an international fan base. The series has received critical acclaim for its characterization, atmosphere, acting, soundtrack, directing, writing, and homages to 1980s films. It has received many awards and nominations, including 39 Primetime Emmy Award nominations, for Golden Globe Award nominations, a British Academy Television Award nomination, two Directors Guild of America Award nominations, three Writers Guild of America Award nominations, and three Grammy Award nominations. Stranger Things gained a dedicated fan base soon after its release. Magnificent Century is a Turkish historical fiction television series. It is based on the life of Ottoman Sultan Suleiman the Magnificent, the longest reigning sultan of the Ottoman Empire, and his wife Hurrem Sultan, a slave girl who became the first Ottoman Hasiki Sultan. It also shines the light on the era known as the Sultanate of Women. The show generated controversy and complaints from some viewers, for what they referred to as a disrespectful, indecent and hedonistic portrayal of the historical sultan. Turkey's radio and television Supreme Council, claimed they had received over 70,000 complaints about the show and warned Show TV to publicly apologize for wrongly exposing the privacy of a historical person. The Prime Minister Recep Tayyip Erdogan condemned the show as an effort to show our history in a negative light to the younger generations. An MP for the Governing Justice and Development Party, Oktay Saral, went further, threatening to outlaw the misrepresentation of historical figures. The series is popular in many countries around the world. In Greece, the series has become quite popular for people of all socio-economic backgrounds and ages. Many Greek viewers enjoyed the visuals and oriental decorations present in the show, as well as the cultural proximity and historical ties between the two countries. It has become so popular that Bishop Anthemos of Thessaloniki and the Golden Dawn Party condemned the show and urged Greeks not to watch it. In the Republic of North Macedonia, Turkish series have become so popular, that the Macedonian parliament has moved to ban Turkish soaps to reduce the Turkish impact on Macedonian society. Turkish series will gradually be removed and replaced by national programs, according to a 2012 bill. Misfits is a British science fiction comedy drama television show, about a group of young offenders sentenced to work in a community service program, where they obtain supernatural powers after a strange electrical storm. The show premiered on November 12, 2009 and concluded on December 11, 2013 in its fifth season. The show is filmed in South East London, mostly on location around the Southmere Lake in Thamesmead, including the signature shot of the four multi-story buildings from the roof of the Lakeside Centre and Bexley College. The first series was accompanied by an online viral marketing, on social networking websites such as Facebook and Twitter. For example, in a British first, the characters Simon and Kelly tweeted during the initial transmission of each episode, with the content of the tweets provided by writers Sam Leifer and Ben Edwards, under the direction of lead writer Howard Overman and executive producer Petra Fry. British reviews were positive. The Times gave it 4 out of 5 stars, calling it a new union, salty British street humor with whiz-bang special effects. The Irish media were also impressed with the show. The Evening Herald called the debut episode dark, hilarious, exciting and beautifully produced. Better Call Saul is an American crime drama television series created by Vince Gilligan and Peter Gould. It is a spin-off, prequel, and a sequel to Gilligan's previous series, Breaking Bad. Set primarily in the early to middle part of the 2000s in Albuquerque, New Mexico, 
The series develops Jimmy McGill, an earnest lawyer and former con artist, into an egocentric criminal defense attorney known as Saul Goodman. Also shown is the moral decline of retired police officer Mike Ermintrout, who becomes closely affiliated with the Juarez drug cartel to support his granddaughter and her widowed mother. These two storylines are mostly told separately but do converge when Jimmy and Mike work together. At the start of the series, Jimmy struggles financially while working as a court-appointed lawyer. He lives in the back room of a nail salon which doubles as an office. Better Call Saul has received critical acclaim, with particular praise for its acting, characters, writing, direction, and cinematography, many critics have called it a worthy successor to Breaking Bad and one of the greatest television series of all time, with some deeming it superior to its predecessor. It has garnered many nominations. Vince Gilligan and Peter Gould began planning a television spin-off of Breaking Bad as early as 2009. Each episode's title sequence features a different low-quality image that recalls Saul Goodman's days on Breaking Bad. This includes the inflatable Statue of Liberty balloon that sat atop Saul's office, a drawer of burner phones kept in his desk, and a bench that advertised his business at a bus stop. Gould and Gilligan were inspired by the notoriously low production values of 1980s public access television, and from the fact that Saul Goodman's ads on Breaking Bad were done in the same style. They intended for the title sequences to appear purposefully awful in order to stand out from those of its contemporaries, which generally had increased visual quality and production standards. Some of the title sequences were put together from unused footage from Breaking Bad, but others were filmed specifically to create new ones. Better Call Saul has received critical acclaim and is considered to be an outstanding example of how to successfully produce a prequel and spin-off work that defies expectations. Many critics have called Better Call Saul a worthy successor to Breaking Bad and some have even deemed it superior to its predecessor. Doctor Who is a British science fiction television program broadcast by the BBC since 1963. The program depicts the adventures of a Time Lord called the Doctor, an extraterrestrial being who appears to be human. The Doctor explores the universe in a time-traveling spaceship called the TARDIS. The TARDIS exterior appears as a blue British police box, which was a common sight in Britain in 1963 when the series first aired. With various companions, the Doctor combats foes, works to save civilizations, and helps people in need. Beginning with William Hartnell, 13 actors have headlined the series as the Doctor. In 2017, Jodie Whittaker became the first woman to officially play the role on television. The transition from one actor to another is written into the plot of the show with the concept of regeneration into a new incarnation, a plot device in which a Time Lord transforms into a new body when the current one is too badly harmed to heal normally. Each actor's portrayal is unique, but all represent stages in the life of the same character, and together, they form a single lifetime with a single narrative. The time-traveling feature of the plot means that different incarnations of the Doctor occasionally meet. The program was originally intended to appeal to a family audience as an educational program using time travel as a means to explore scientific ideas and famous moments in history. The show is a significant part of British popular culture, and elsewhere, it has gained a cult following. It has influenced generations of British television professionals, many of whom grew up watching the series. The program is listed in Guinness World Records as the longest-running science fiction television show in the world, as well as the most successful science fiction series of all time. The program originally ran from 1963 to 1989. There was an unsuccessful attempt to revive regular production in 1996 with a backdoor pilot in the form of a television film titled Doctor Who. The program was relaunched in 2005 and since then, has been produced in-house by BBC Wales in Cardiff. Prison Break is an American serial drama television series created by Paul Schering for Fox. The series revolves around two brothers, Lincoln Burroughs and Michael Schofield. Burroughs has been sentenced to death for a crime he did not commit, and Schofield devises an elaborate plan to help his brother escape prison and clear his name. The series was originally turned down by Fox in 2003, which was concerned about the long-term prospects of such a series. Following the popularity of serialized primetime television series Lost in 24, Fox decided to back production in 2004. The first season received mostly positive reviews from critics with universal acclaim from audiences. Prison Break was nominated for several industry awards, 
including the 2005 Golden Globe Award for Best Television Series Drama and the 2006 People's Choice Award for Favorite New TV Drama, which it won. The first season of Prison Break, an American serial drama television series, commenced airing in the United States and Canada on August 2005. A total of 10 actors received star billing in the first season, with numerous supporting roles. Filming took place mostly in and around the Chicago area. Fox River was represented by Joliet Prison, which had closed in 2002. Critical reviews of the first season were generally favorable. The first episode was just great. Michael Schofield gets imprisoned in Fox River State Penitentiary as part of an elaborate plan to break out his brother, Lincoln Burroughs. Scenes set in Lincoln's cell, the infirmary, and the prison yard were all shot on location at the prison. Lincoln's cell is the same one in which John Wayne Gacy was incarcerated. Most of the production crew refused to enter the cell, thinking that it was haunted. 23. Other sets were built at the prison, including the cell blocks that housed the general prison population. These blocks had three tiers of cells, as opposed to the real cell blocks too, and had cells much larger than real cells to allow more space for the actors and cameras. The two-hour pilot episode garnered approximately 10.5 million viewers. Establishment, Osman is a Turkish historical drama television series. It is a sequel to the popular multi-episode show Risen Ertegrel, which gained fans around the world and was one of the highest rated shows in Turkey. The actors of the series underwent special training for nine months. They learned how to ride a horse, wield a sword, practice swordplay, shoot an arrow, and learn martial choreography. Their military training took place in mountainous and forested areas, where they built their fortifications, sought water and prepared food. Audiences loved the beautiful sets, which look authentic, and the detailed costumes, which give a fairly accurate representation of the historical era. The story of the founder of the state, who became part of national legends, cannot turn out neutral. It will be fiery and memorable. For Turkish viewers there is nothing unnatural about this. But for those who watched the series in other countries it may seem a bit strange. The series is focuses on the life of Osman, the founder of the Ottoman Empire. The TV show includes Osman Ghazi's internal and external struggles and how he establishes and controls the Ottoman Empire. It portrays his struggles against Byzantium and the Mongol Ilkhanate and how he was able to secure independence from the Sultanate of Rum to establish a sovereign state that would stand up to the Byzantine and Mongol empires and would honor the Turks. The character of Osman faces many enemies and traitors in his quest and the show illustrates how he was able to overcome these obstacles and fulfill his mission with the help of his loyal companions, family, and friends. Black Mirror is a British anthology television series created by Charlie Brooker. Individual episodes explore a diversity of genres, but most are set in near-future dystopias utilizing a science fiction technology, a type of speculative fiction. The series is based on the Twilight Zone and uses technology to comment on contemporary social issues. As Black Mirror is an anthology series, each episode is standalone and can be watched in any order. The majority of episodes are set in dystopian near-futures with novel technologies that exaggerate a trait from contemporary culture, often the internet. Black Mirror can be seen to demonstrate a negative view of unending pursuit of scientific and technological advancement. The majority of episodes end unhappily. However, characters who carefully consider the risks of technology with which they engage are met with happy endings. The first episode received mostly positive critical reviews. Most reviewers found the episode plausible. Sims commented that every twist seems organic and every decision rational, leading the audience to overlook the insanity of the premise or any minor plot hole. The acting received a positive critical reception. Airing on December 4, 2011, the episode garnered 2.07 million viewers, according to seven-day figures from the broadcaster's audience research board. It was nominated for Best Single Drama at the 2013 Broadcast Awards.